What's up? It's your boy Gimpzilla back with another strategy video for Majesty Gold HD. In this video, I'm going to cover the key points in building an economy for your kingdom. Now, uh, your economy is the backbone of any RTS, and Majesty, I feel, provides a great and unique system for resource collection. So, let's get right into it. Majesty, I'm here with the latest report from the Chief Tax Collector. He reports that the fiscal quarter will soon be ending, and the Treasury reports a deficit. Unlike other RTSs, Majesty removes a majority of the ways a player normally interacts with their economy. Truly, you know, the only input a player has on gold production is building placement and upgrades. You see, gold is collected from NPC characters in your kingdom called tax collectors. Your tax collectors will physically walk from your palace building to each structure in your kingdom. Now the player only receives the gold collected if the NPC survives his tax route and returns safely to the palace. Okay, beyond taxes, gold is mainly generated through item sales. Buildings like your marketplace, library, or blacksmith offer upgrades to your AI controlled heroes uh, for them to purchase. So when a hero buys these upgrades from your kingdom, the gold is then stored in the building and awaits collection from your tax NPCs. Now, because gold income is tied so closely to your tax collector's ability to walk freely about your village, uh, it's vital that you consider your building location and city layout. Now, building a tight community in the early game will ensure your ability to both defend you know, your important income buildings, but it's also going to provide a shorter path for your tax collectors, uh, leading to faster income generation. Now, as your kingdom expands, you may want to consider adding additional guardhouses around your city perimeter uh, to further protect your income generating NPCs. Guards provide a great stationary protection and can often be you know, more reliable than uh, counting on your heroes to clean up your messes. So, uh, furthermore, guardhouses with the arrows upgrade will draw aggro on units, making you know troll and rat attacks. Um, they're going to go straight to the guardhouse instead of robbing your marketplace, blacksmith, etc. All right, now some buildings are more important than others and should be prioritized when building your economy. Uh, first and foremost would be your marketplace. Besides providing your heroes with critical upgrades, uh, the marketplace also provides the highest natural tax generation of any building in the game. So the marketplace should be one of your first buildings you create on a new map and should definitely be upgraded to level 3 immediately for the increased tax revenue. Sovereign, your marketplace now serves you better. Uh, next up would be Trading Post. These are a mid to late game tech uh, that sends a caravan wagon from the Trading Post location to your main marketplace. Uh, gold is generated after the caravan completes the full journey and arrives safely. Now, trading posts generate higher income the further your caravan travels. So you'll want to be placing these trading posts in areas of the map that you've already cleared out uh, so that they can travel safely you know, for a long distance. Uh, it's not uncommon to place a guardhouse or two on your caravan's route uh, for additional protection you know, while they're out of town and possibly away from, from some of your more powerful heroes. Uh, ultimately, the trading posts are very important uh, income generators, and I normally aim to have about three or four routes running uh, by the end of most maps. Now, the final important building uh, would be your elven bungalow. Uh, this building allows the production of elves. Uh, this unit normally sits in your marketplace and inns, generating additional uh, tax income to be collected. Uh, additionally, including the elves provides the vice of gambling, although you know not a consistent way to generate money. I have used gambling to complete some of the more you know economic focused objectives. Uh, I will say that in the end, the elven bungalow is not as important as you know your marketplace or trading posts. But if you do find the resources, you know to add the elves to your army, uh, you definitely will not regret it. All right, and then to wrap up the video, I'm just going to throw a couple rapid-fire tips at you uh, that will also help boost your economy. So, number one, um, often when you discover a new structure on the map, 
their coffers will commonly be filled. Uh, so you should always click on your new buildings once you acquire them to see if uh, there's any gold available for immediate tax collection. Uh, next up, you know, each building has the option to toggle tax collection on and off. Uh, in some cases, you may want to consider turning off tax collection for buildings that are further away from your palace. Uh, this is going to reduce the travel time for your tax collectors and ultimately, you know, increase your revenue. Um, and then once these buildings do fill up with gold, just remember you can always send a tax collector for a one-time pickup. Uh, now, next tip. Tax collectors can return gold to a guardhouse. Uh, this kind of piggybacks on the last one, so it is useful uh, for your expansion buildings that are further away from town, but also remember that your tax collectors will always spawn from your palace. Okay, so they can return to the guardhouses, but they will always spawn at the palace. Uh, lastly, you can select your tax collector NPCs and adjust his priorities. Um, you know, is your tax man dying before he's returning home? You know, then let's go ahead and lower his minimum return and he'll come back a little bit sooner. Or, you know, is, is the tax guy taking too much time stopping at each and every house? Well, then let's go ahead and add a minimum collection amount and he'll ignore all these tiny homes, you know, until they have larger sums available. So there's a ton of subtle improvements to your economy. So, you know, with that in mind, guys, take these tips, build on them and, you know, head off and, and build your empire. So uh, just remember, it's it's Majesty's unique approach to unit and resource management that makes this game a total gem. Uh, if you do enjoy Majesty and you enjoy my content, you know, please smash that like button on this video. Uh, giving a thumbs up is the best way to spread Majesty and, you know, get this video in other people's inboxes. So just remember, I appreciate all of you. And until then, Gibzilla out, and I will see you all next time.